so today is the fifth class of chemical bonding so in the previous class i have discussed about the polar bond and covalent ionic bond so now in this lecture i will discuss the phosphor fluid so so what is the full form of the phosphor theory the full form of the phosphor theory is the valence cell electron pair repulsion the valence cell electron pair repulsion okay so in this theory if you see clearly the full form of the phosphor theory is the valence cell electrons and this is the repulsor okay so whatever i will discuss here this is about the valence cell electron pairs uh, and they are the repulsor okay so in the first class we know about the lewis dot structure but this from this lewis dot structure this lewis dot structure okay so this structure from this digital structure concept we cannot say we cannot uh, define any stability of or the shape of the molecule this is shape of the molecule we cannot define by this which dot structure okay so to know the shape of the molecule we will know about the phosphor theory so phosphor theory means the valence cell electron pair repulsion so to know about the shape and the structure of a molecule first 1940 if i if i know about the 1940 uh, uh, scientist sadwick and scientist Powell, they discover a theory. This is called the valence bond Hesper theory. So this Hesper theory, basically, they have uh, discussed about the repulsion, repulsion of valence electrons. Electrons. Okay. So whatever is there, that is basically. repulsion or the repulsion between the valence electrons so now why this term is coming this is the repulsion we know that the electrons when we are talking about this electrons this electron is the negatively charged okay it has the minus negative charge so we know when it is the repulsion when we are telling about the uh repulsion of the valence cell electrons that means the electron electron repulsion so that means the negative charge and the negative charge is there so there will be not attraction there will be the repulsion okay so that's why we are talking about here a repulsion of valence cell electrons so now there is the some postulate of the phosphor theory first postulate is that the shape of a molecule depends upon the number of the valence cell electrons this is the bonded or the non bonded around the central atom so whatever metal complex will be whatever molecules will be there okay you have to define first this uh, central atom uh, this is the central atom uh, so about this central atom the shape of or the structure of the molecules will be determined so first is there the uh, that uh, the number of valence cell electron pair that would be the bonded or the non bonded okay so based upon that number of valence cell electron pair the shape of molecule will be determined that is the thing this is the first postulate second postulate is that pair of the electron in the valence cell repel one another since that the electrons clouds are negatively charged so if you see the valence cell electron cell so there is the 
suppose there is the three cell there is the one electron there is the one electron so among this one two electrons there is a repulsion okay so due to this repulsion due to this uh, repulsion between two negative charge two negative charges electrons okay so whatever electron clouds will be negative chiefly charges so electron clouds are negatively charged third postulate is that the pair of the electrons tends to occupy the first position in base that the minimize the repulsion and the maximum distance so suppose there is a electron cloud there is a electron cloud okay so among this uh, between this electron there will be the repulsion so due to this repulsion this electron always wants to go far away from to each other and they will take a, a distance where the minimum repulsion and the maximum distance so due to this repulsion always the pair of the electron so there is a pair of the electrons there is a pair of the electrons so this pair of the electrons there is a repulsion between these two pair of the electrons so due to this repulsion uh, there will be uh, some distance between uh, the two pair of the electrons will be created uh, so that's why this pair of the electron tends to occupy such position in base Uh, minimize repulsion so in this position uh, minimize repulsion and maximum distance but in that situation if you see maximum repulsion and minimum distance so two situations are the different in that situation between these two electrons pair distance is very very less that's why distance is the very less that's why there the repulsion will be very high so due to this repulsion between these two electron pair the distance of this two electron pair will be the high so that's why it is a maximum distance so when the distance is the high then the repulsion between these two electron pair will be minimum another postulate is that the valence cell is taken as a sphere or with the electron pair localizing on the spherical su surface at the maximum distance from the another so whatever we are talking about this valence cell uh, so always this valence cell uh, this uh, valence cell electron pair will act as a sphere this is the taken as a sphere this is sphere and there is a sphere okay so to create the minimum repulsion the distance will be high so always they will be present as maximum distance another point is that the a multiple bond is treated as if a single electron pair suppose there is a single bond there is a single electron pair is there okay, okay. so when it, it is a single electron bond pair uh, it is a multiple bond it is a multiple bond but when there is a double bond there is a triple bond is there okay so suppose there is a double bond there is a triple bond is there so when it is double bond that means there is the two electron pair is there there is a three electron pair is there okay so maximum when the more than the one electron pair then we can say it, it is as a single super pair so it is a single super pair so these are the postulate there is a some points is there okay so these are the postulate so among this depends upon this postulate this specific postulates we will define the structure what will be the structure of the molecules and what will be the uh, distorted structure or the two structure how it will be the determined uh, among this bonded electrons and the non bonded electrons if i give this some example it will be the very 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 uh, better to understand uh, so before that there is some point the repulsive interaction 
of electron sphere decrease in order so if you know a molecules a molecules always they are present bonded electron sphere non bonded electron sphere that means actually uh, the lone pair so it is a bp and it is a lp so if you see suppose this is a a molecules let us consider so these are the bonded electron pairs so this is a bonded electron sphere and these are the lone pair so these are the lone pair and these are the bonded electron pair you see carefully this lone pair as a free this lone pair they are the free these are the free okay but if you see this lone, uh, this bonded electron sphere are involved these are the involved to make a bond to make a bond similarly here also so this bonded electron sphere are not free they are the not free okay so bonded electron pair is not free but lone pair is free so due to this freeness of the lone pair lone pair lone pair repulsion lone pair lone pair repulsion will be more because these are the non bonded these are the lone pair they are not involved in the another works okay so they are the free that's why a lone pair lone pair repulsion is the maximum then lone pair bond pair repulsion will be that reason then at the end bond pair bond pair repulsion so if you see the order of the repul uh, repulsive interaction of the bond pair and the lone pair the bond pair bond pair repulsion will be less then bond pair lone pair repulsion will be in medium position but lone pair lone pair repulsion will be very high so this is the case okay so this is the important point uh, this is the important points uh, why this lone pair lone pair repulsion is the very very high than the bond pair bond pair repulsion okay so now according to the number of electron sphere so in this electron sphere there will be involved bond pair also and the lone pair also so number of the lone pairs according to the number of the lone pairs we will define we will define the shift of molecule how suppose total number of this is, this is the total this is the total number of the bond pair plus lone pair okay suppose there are two total electron pair is the two okay number of the electron pair is the two when the number of the electron pair is the two then the structure will be linear when it is a three the structure will be trigonal trigonal linear when the total number of the uh, lone pair is in four then it is the tetrahedral is the five is a trigonal bipyramidal structure in the six it will be octahedral and also it is the seven so it will be uh, it will be uh, the structure will be uh, bipyramidal bipyramidal planar structure how it is that and also it is a tetrahedral another structure will be the square planar 
okay so let us just again again i i will draw the all the structure when the lone pair that uh, this is the number of electron pair and this is the uh, safe and this is the structure not the structure it will also the safe the geometry safe or the geometry okay so first is the two is a linear so linear means it will be like that the angle will be 180 degree like for example for example barium chloride hgcl uh, these are the all the linear structures co2 structure uh, oxygen c double bond two so these are the linear so so these are the linear the angle between uh, this two bond will be 180 degree then if you see the three it is a trigonal planar trigonal planar so trigonal planar when it will be trigonal planar the angle will be 120 degree so it the, the structure will be like that so this angle will be 120 degree okay let us consider bf3 okay so the structure is like that it is a trigonal planar structure okay a trigonal planar structure bf3 now you see it is a four so this is the tetrahedral when it is a tetrahedral then angle will be 109.5 degree okay so it will be structure like that okay restructure like that so like example uh nh3 ammonia uh, nh3 ammonia this one pair will be that position hydrogen will be that position and that will be that position. Uh, suppose the nf3 uh, nf3 so nitrogen will be the position uh, this is the fluorine and this will be the fluorine and this will be the fluorine it will be like that actually uh, above the plane and then below the plane now another also suppose the square planar could be happened square planar then the angle between is the 90 degree uh, this is the square planar structure this angle will be 90 degree for example if you see any metal complex or if you see uh nickel uh cn airport like that uh, so nickel will be there the cn molecules is there this is the cn and this is also the cn so like that is the structure and uh, the five so this is the bipyramidal trigonal bipyramidal trigonal bipyramidal it is called the tbp the structure will be like that okay so this is the t structure huh? this is tbp structure like if you see pcl5 phosphorus will be there cell in this position cell in this position cell in the position there is another cell there okay this is the tbp structure and this is the six stop uh, octet dal octetal structure will be like that Like example the SF6 sulfur will be there to rain, to rain, to rain. you guys just remember when the uh, number of the electrons is the four then structure will be the tetrahedral or the spiral when the number will be the five it will be the trigonal pyramidal structure when number will be the six it is the octahedral structure it is the three then trigonal pyramidal structure is the two then it is the linear structure and also and also the remember the bond angle so here is the bond angle is the two types okay so this angle will be this angle will be 180 degree this angle will be 90 degree and if you see this this angle will be 120 degree 
so there will be the various type of the golden angle is there okay 120 90 180 degree again here also if you see this is the 90 degree this is the 180 degree okay so here also 90 degree and 180 degree golden angle is present so various type of the golden angle is present in the molecules and also if you you have to know about the structure you have to draw properly you have to draw the structure and according to the you have to remember the how many lone pair is there and corresponding the number of the lone pair what will be the shape when the number of the lone pair is the two when number of the lone pair is the two then it is the linear structure when it is a three then the triangular planar structure four then the tetrahedral or the square planar then five it is a triangular bipyramid this is a tpp structure and when it is the six then it is the octahedral structure okay so these are the general thing for the Hesper theory, how you will know the shape of the molecule according to the total number of electron pair, not the total number of electron. It is always you have to know the total number of electron pair. Okay, it is a pair, not electrons. Okay, so now, now suppose I am giving an example, suppose the NH3. NH3. Okay, so in this in this molecule, suppose the NH3, what will be the what will be the structure? What will be the shape or the geometry of this molecule? Okay, so first you have to know first you have to know the number of electron pair. Okay, first we have to know the number of the electron pairs. So again, you go to the Lewis dot structure. So this is the lone pair. Okay, here will be the three bond in H. There's the hydrogen. This is the hydrogen. Okay. So if you see, if you clearly see, this is the bonded electron pair. This is the bonded electron pair. This is the bonded electron pair. So total number of the bonded electron pair. So bonded electrons pair equal to 3 but lone pair equal to the 1 so total 4 so when it is a 4 it is giving two structure one is the tetrahedral it will be the tetrahedral structure and another is the square planar but here the square planar is not possible because of this lone pair and another is the tetrahedral structure so it will have the tetrahedral structure so when it is a tetrahedral structure then angle will be 120 degree so in this array you have to cast the total number of the bonded electron pair then you have to go the shape and the geometry let us consider the sf6 we know that sf6 that means with this sulfur there is a four fluorine is bonded okay so bonded electron pair will be six there is another lone pair is there no okay now how you know that how you know that there is the no lone pair because if you see the sulfur electronic configuration the valence electronic configuration okay so the number of the electrons the valence electrons will be the six okay so so six lone pair is there uh, sorry six electron is there and six electron from the sulfur so they will form the six bonded electron pair again i am just uh, draw the balance cell. So this is the uh, 3s, this is the 3p, and this is the uh, 3d. This is the 3d. So when it is a sulfur, so uh, oxygen series is there. Uh, so balance electron equal to the 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the 6. Okay, but again, due to the presence of the fluorine, this bonded electrons will be this pair of the electrons will be the non pair. So this will be the that things. So again, there will be the fluorine. There is a fluorine is coming, fluorine is coming, fluorine is coming, fluorine is coming. So total one, two, three, four, five, six. So six bonded electrons pair. Six bonded electrons pair. 
so when it is a six bonded electron pair in the valence cell in the valence cell so six means it will give the octahedral structure it will give the octahedral structure if you see in the valence cell in the valence cell in the valence cell there is no lone pair okay so there is a no lone pair only presents the bonded electron pair that's why that's why lone pair equal to zero and bonded electron pair equal to six so six means the structure will be the octahedral if you see if you consider the pcl5 if you see the pcl5 okay so if you see the pcl5 so from that 5 cell the bonded electron pair will be the 5 and lone pair will be the 0 so total bonded electron pair is the 5 so when it is the 5 then the structure will be the trigonal bipyramidal structure trigonal bipyramidal structure ok trigonal bipyramidal structure according to the total number of the electron so according to the total number of the electron pair, you have to know about the geometry according to that. Now, the second point is that molecule type. It is molecule type. It is nothing is that whatever I am telling. It is a similar like that. Uh, okay. Again, I am telling you. Suppose uh, this is a molecule A. B to E, E for lone pair. Okay, E for lone pair. A B A A is the central atom, and E for the lone pair. Okay, so when it is the A B to E, that means the bonded electron pair equal to two. This is a bonded electron pair, and this is the lone pair. The so lone pair equal to one. So total is three. So this is the total. So total is the three. When it is the three, then the structure will be trigonal bipyramidal structure. Its structure is like that. Okay, so it is a trigonal by uh, sorry. This is the trigonal pyramidal structure. This is a trigonal pyramidal structure. Trigonal pyramidal structure. But if you see the safe bent. For example, SO2 O3. Another thing, this is a AB3E. AB3E means the bonded electron pair will be the 3, the 3, and lone pair will be the 1. So total is the 4. So 4 means the structure will be A will be there. There is the lone pair, there is the B, there is the another B, and there is the another B. So the structure will be the tetrahedral. Okay, the structure is the tetrahedral. Like example, and the shape will be uh, the shape will be trigonal pyramidal. Trigonal pyramidal or the tetrahedral, the same. Trigonal pyramidal or the tetrahedral is the same like the example is the NH3. Another if you see the example a B2TET that means the bonded electron pair equal to lone pair equal to two total total number of electron equal to the four. So this is the bonded electron pair, this is the lone pair electron pair, this is the total. The total equal to four. So when it is a 4, then we know that again the structure will be A, lone pair is there, that is lone pair, and that is the B, and that is the B. Okay, so it has the tetrahedral structure, but if you see only the two electrons, so it is a bent structure, bent. For example, if you see the water, H2, uh, oxygen will be there. In this position, 
So this is the electron electron uh, repulsion. And we know that lone pair lone pair repulsion is the greater than lone pair lone pair electron is the greater than to lone pair to one pair. Okay. Again, I will come to that point. Okay. So another thing, if you see a b four e, so bonded electron pair equal to four, lone pair equal to uh, sorry one, so total equal to five. Okay. So the structure will be. Uh, it will be like that. Not pair. So the structure is square pyramidal, or if you eliminate the lone pair, if you eliminate the lone pair, then it is a square planar. Or if you another another also the structure will be uh, so the structure will be. This is a trigonal uh, bipyramidal uh, bi structure. This is a trigonal bipyramidal structure, but it is a uh, seesaw structure. When this lone pair will be in plane, when this lone pair will be plane, then it is a seesaw structure. When it is a seesaw structure, but another, if you see this example, this is a very important thing. Uh, when this is the AB three, it so bonded equal to three, lone pair equal to two, total equal to five. So again the structure will be. So this is the three, and this lone pair will be the two. So lone pair will be the two, uh, and this is the B, and this is the B. If you the the structure equal to the T shape, the T shape, uh, will be a slide. If you see this this lone pair is present is here. There is a one lone pair. So it is a seesaw structure, and here. Is a two lone pair is present. There is one lone pair. There is the one lone pair, and the structure is coming the T shape. So it is a T shape structure. And another is the another also, always the possible that one is a square pyramidal structure. Sorry, that is the square pyramidal structure. So if you see when the total number of electrons, the total number of electrons equal to the five, then there is the three possibility. One is square pyramidal structure. Square pyramidal structure, and that is the seesaw structure, and that is the T shape structure. Okay, so that actually varies by varies of number of one pair or the number of the lone. Another thing, if you see A B four E two, A B four E two, that means the four one pair, two lone pair, so total is the six. So the structure will be. So there is a boron. There is the boron. There is the boron. There is the boron. The lone pair will be like in position. So it is shape is the octahedral, but the shape is the square planar. If you eliminate this lone pair, uh, only the consider the molecule, then the structure will be the square, like uh, XCF4. Is xenon is the fluorine, the fluorine, the fluorine is a fluorine. There is the lone pair. So this is a structure and this is a shape. So there is some exception I will discuss here. For I am considering this first is water. Okay, for this water molecule H two. So from that water molecules we know that it always has the two lone pair. So bonded. Uh, electron pair equal to two and lone pair equal to two, so total equal to the four. The structure will be the tetrahedral. So when it is a tetrahedral, when it is a tetrahedral, so the geometry will be like that. Okay, the geometry will be like that, but due to the Due to the lone pair lone pair repulsion, due to this lone pair lone pair repulsion, when it is a repulsion to each other, then but uh, and also and also there is the lone pair bond pair repulsion and bond pair bond pair repulsion is there. Okay, so due to the due to that, the structure will be bent. Okay, so lone pair lone pair repulsion is there. The shape the should be tetrahedral 
but there are all lone pairs and the two lone pairs are the present so that the shape is the distorted tetrahedral structure and the reason is the lone pair lone pair person is the more than the lone pair bond pair person which is the more than the bond pair bond pair person that's why if you see this this repulse so there is a bond pair bond pair also person is there lone pair bond pair also person is there lone pair lone pair person is there okay so due to that presence of the three types of the repulsion the structure is the distorted tetrahedra and we know that we know that for the tetrahedral structure the angle equal to 109 109.5 degree but due to that repulsion the angle will be 104.5 degree okay so the repulsion this that repulsion angle will be the less Huh, angle will be the less that person is present that person is present so when that's why this angle is the less uh, 109 to the 104.5 degree another thing if you see for that nh3 case also uh, uh, for that nh3 case if you see the structure nh3 okay so for that case what is happening here uh, we know that this is a tetrahedral geometry angle should be 10.5 degree but its angle is 107 degree its angle is a quite less why because you see there is the bonded bonded electron pair is there bonded bonded electron pair this person is there but there is a bonded and a lone pair so there is the two repulsion is present one is a lone pair bonded electron pair and the bonded Left to square bonded left to square, and we know that bonded and lone pair interaction is the greater than the bonded bonded. So that's why these interactions will be the high than that repulsion. That's why this angle will be quite less than 109.5 degree. So this, that's why its angle is equal to 107 degree. So due to that repulsion of bonded left to square and the lone pair. Another example, if you see SO2 molecule. So, from that SO2 molecule, just first consider the structure. So, here oxygen with this oxygen, sulfur will be the two bonded electrons, so two bonded electrons, but sulfur will be have sulfur will be have one lone pair. Okay. So sulfur will be have the one lone pair, so equal to the three. So when it is a three, then the structure will be trigonal. So this is sulfur lone pair that will be the structure, but it will have a bent structure. So total bonded electrons pair equal to the four. That is the one. So equal to the five. So, bent. so theoretically, the shape the should have, have been trigonal planar, but actually it uh, it is a found to be a bent or the visual structure so the reason being the lone pair bonded pair the lone pair and bonded pair repulsion is the much more as compared to the bonded bonded what is happening here if you see there is a lone pair also is there there is a lone pair is there there is a lone pair is there okay so whatever repulsion present is here but this repulsion is the greater than this so there is a lone pair bond pair uh, repulsion there is a bond pair bond pair repulsion and we know that lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than to the bond pair bond pair repulsion that's why this structure is the v-shape structure it should be the trigonal planar structure but it is a v-shape structure or the bent structure we can say it is a bent shape or the we can say it is a v-shape that's why it is a uh, so it is a trigonal planar so the structure will be uh, the, the, and the angle will be angle should be uh, 120 degree but due to that triple sun the angle is 119.5 degree okay so here i have closed the class whatever example is remaining you guys can continue uh, so in this vespa theory just uh, based upon the number of the total electron pair which is the bonded electron pair and which is the uh non pair this is the non bonded electron pair now uh, here we have determined the safe and the uh, molecules uh, what, what will be the shape of the molecules when it is a 2 then it is a linear 
point is a three, it is a trigonal. Uh, and what is a four? It is a tetrahedral. It is a five. This is the bivalent trigonal structure. And it is a six. This is the octahedral. So based upon that, uh, total number of the bonded electron and the non-bonded electrons, we can determine the shape of the molecules. So here I will close the uh, class. Uh, in the next class, I will discuss about some example based upon the whisper theory. Then I will continue the PPT. Uh,